Now we know that how to style your React component in two different ways using CSS and using SAS. Let me explain the third way you can style the React component. In this way you can style the React component using CSS module. I'm going to leave everything as it is. So what you need to do is you need to create a new file and name that file button dot module dot as CSS or you can pass CSS as well to this file name. If you want to style your component in simple CSS way, you can use this .css file or if you want to style your component using SAS syntax, you can use here SCSS. I'm using here SCSS. Now you can notice here, I'm using suffix here to create this file name. Now this is just a simple SAS file, but with the suffix module. Now let me show you the use of this module suffix. Let me just simply back to my button and copy this code and paste it here. Now you can notice both code are same. But now using this suffix with this module suffix, I can use this CSS styling as an object in my React component. Let me show you. Let me just first add my button component here. So in the single quote, I'm going to say dot forward slash button dot module dot as CSS. Make sure you pass here suffix module. Just saw that. What you need to do is, as I said, you can use these classes as an object inside your component. So I'm going to just see here import style from this module. So now this styling is going to return an object to this style variable. So you can use this styling. So just out of that, I'm going to just use this object to style the component. So just down here to this button, as you know, I have this button class. I'm using the CSS module to style the component. So instead of this button class, I can use your curly braces. And inside it, I'm going to simply say styles dot button. Now this is the style object, this one, and the button is the class name. You can notice here, this is the class name. Let me save this file back to my project. And as you can see, I'm going to have the styling to my buttons. So this is the third way you can style your React component. If you want to use CSS as a module in your React application, just use this way. Using this way, you have many options to alter your styling. You can do many things with this technique. You can add condition to your styling and add many more. Now, what if I want to style this unordered list class? For example, let's say if I copy this styling from this CSS file and if I paste that inside this module.scss right here, let me save this file. Let me back to the basket.js and instead of this class name, if I just specify here in the curly braces, styles dot class name like this and when I save the changes and execute this file I'm going to get an error message list is not defined react will consider this list as a separate variable so how you can fix this there are two ways you can fix this problem you can just simply specify here underscore instead of a dash and just create this class inside your CSS just like this when you save this file you will get the result what you want and if you don't want to use underscore to your CSS styling just use the second way so I'm going to just specify here dash like this save this file and now instead of this class name I'm going to just specify here add a to this style and inside the single code I'm going to simply pass the class name using this object I can access this class name as an array inside this array I have different classes now you can notice how I use this class using this object. Let me do the same thing with this button. If I just specify here array and inside it, if I specify here button, as you can see, I'm going to have the same result. So using this technique, you can use any class name in your React application. You are not limited to just use dash or underscore to add a class in your React app. Now let me just print this style variable. Let me copy it and print it inside this console. Let me save the changes back to my browser and open the console. When I click on the like button, you can notice I'm going to have a result here. Inside this console message, I'm going to have a styling. This style variable is going to return an object. Inside this object, I have two keys. First is a button and second is an order list. If you just open your CSS module, then you can notice here I have both these classes. React will convert these classes into keys and specify to this variable. So you can use your styling in your React application with this array. So basically here, you are just accessing the key of this style object. Now, what if you want to create another class in your SAS file? For example, inside this unordered list, if I create here a nested list class, 
and if I specify here padding 3 em then I can use this list in my react component as a key let me just save the changes back to the browser and reload it when I click on this button as you can see I have this list as a key inside this object so now I can use this style inside my project with this syntax so I can just simply specify here to this list I can specify here styles and in the array I can use a link key I can just simply use this key inside this component and save the changes as you can see this will just add padding to this li tags now as you can see how easy it is to style your react component with CSS module so this is the third technique you can use to style your react component next we're going to take a look at how to style the JSX with style component